can I just say that I am genuinely and honestly surprised that it's taken us this long to bring the Megabus to the original Ski Jump map. Now, first of all, if you're newer to SnowRunner and you haven't seen this map before on my channel, I did a bunch of videos on this map when it first came out a long time ago. This was essentially the first map of its kind, the first map to literally be centered around gigantic jumps. I mean, it has different types of jumps on either side. It has essentially a board on the ground for car darts. It has pretty much everything that you would want in that regard. Although I will say this map was made uh, before maps were really being, maps and mods essentially were being integrated into consoles, and thus this is a PC-only map. It also obviously has its, uh, I wouldn't say instabilities, but because of how high the ramps are, it can't really be used all that well in multiplayer because all, like, all the players that you're playing with will essentially just hit height glitch uh, immediately and their vehicles will glitch into the ground. But, with all of that out of the way, let's see what the Megabus can do on this map amongst a few other vehicles and a few other experiments. Now, before we do anything with the other experiments and other vehicles, I need to set this thing up. Now, Tuned is going to go in, we're going to get the fast transmission, we're going to get the big boys suspension, and we're going to do the monster tires first, then we're going to do the T1 tires. Long toe strap and remove the mega rack. Now, once that's all done, now we can leave the garage for the first time. So let's go ahead and put the suspension in high mode, get rid of the dev tools, I said get rid of the dev tools, and <laughs> let's fire it up and go over to the first ramp. Now... The ramp over here on the right side of the map is a little bit steeper, and it will throw the truck a little bit higher in the air, whereas the, the ramp on the left side of the map will go a bit longer. It'll launch you a bit longer. It's more of a distance ramp. But I really wanted to try this one first, because this is the one that... Uh, this is essentially the ramp that really, really will show you how, how high a truck can fly. All right. Now... I will say that wherever we land with these tires, I'm pretty sure we're going to land even farther when we put the T1 uh, ag tires on it. So three, two, one, let's go. All right, easy. All right, there's high range and neutral. Let's help pick up even more speed and go. Oh, that's already flying insanely far in comparison to, like, anything I've ever... Oh, my God. Bro, it's still going. It's still... It actually bounced. I, if this lands on its wheels and keeps driving, ah, I, I don't know if that's gonna... No way. No way! Bro, we're gonna drive this thing back up. Look how far we flew, survived... And now we're about to be able to drive back up. That's incredible. That's absolutely wild. We also have, like, no damage on anything. Now, granted, I know we have a no damage suspension, but everything else is damageable. So the fact that we have no damage on anything is absolutely, like, it's out of this world ridiculous. So let's make our way back to the top of this ramp. And with these same monster tires, I'm going to try launching off the other ramp on the opposite side of the map. And then we'll swap out for the T1 tires, the agricultural tires. Now, why is that, by the way, when it does, like, when it did what it just did right there, where it almost acted like it was jumping in slow motion, it almost feels like gravity affects this thing in a different way than it affects different vehicles. And I know I've said that before, but every time I see this thing jump, it really does feel like it jumps in slow motion. Let's make my way up to the top. Yeet! And as luck would have it, there's the other ramp ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and spin this thing around. Now, once we've done our baseline tests, I want to try, I don't know, like maybe putting something on top of this or maybe trying just something wacky with it. And I'm not entirely sure yet what that's going to be. All right, there's high range. There's automatic. Come on! Oh, that's gonna be a big flip. That might actually be enough room for a double flip. That actually might go farther than the... Oh my god! Yo! I've never been that far on this jump literally ever before. It's still flipping and spinning. It's still flipping and spinning. It's probably gonna actually land itself. Oh my god, there we... It bounced. And, well, 
Looks like it's going to be a recovery on that one. But what an incredible flight, though. Like, look how far up the side of the wall we actually went. I don't think that I've ever, even with the monstrosity, I've never jumped that far. So now that makes me really excited to put the T1 tires on this thing because they're even taller. And because they're taller, it should give them more rolling speed which should in turn make us fly even farther so we're gonna do the high jump first then the long jump and i'm thinking we'll fly farther off of both of like both of the jumps themselves so let's get a little bit closer to the ramp and i'm thinking for this one for this one automatic up to high range and then into neutral is probably the move so let's see kick the clutch High range. Neutral. Oh, it's swaying with this. Whoa, that's weird. That was so weird. I had to work really hard to get it back under control there. Although, I feel like I really did lose a ton of speed. And because of that, it might not go as far. Yeah, it didn't go as far. But I blame that loss of speed, like, solely and squarely on my driving. And I feel like... If I did it again and did it properly, we would fly farther than we did with the monster tires. Uh, wow. I didn't realize I could bicycle this thing that well. That's actually really good. Like, way better than I thought it was going to be able to do that. A little bit of handbrake action. All right, let's get ready. Now, here's the thing. It might not be the best way to do it on this side, but I have a feeling that staying in high range, like on the other side, is going to 100% be the go-to. All right, here we go. That feels better. It certainly looks better. Oh, yeah. It, well, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, it's gonna out, yeah, it's gonna outdo it. But it didn't, it certainly didn't bounce as hard as it did with the other tires. Um, I am, like, perfectly on my, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen another vehicle do that. I've never seen another vehicle land like that. That's brilliant. That's absolutely, like, wonderful. The fact that it's willing to, like, land like that and the tires are tall enough that it can literally just balance itself on the side of the tire. I don't think there's any other vehicle in this game that can do that. Successfully, anyway. Or at least anything that I've ever seen do that. Oh, boy. Alright, this one's gonna be... This one's gonna be the insane one. Alright, high range, let's go! Back in automatic mode! Oh, that's gonna be... Oh, that's gonna be far. It's gonna really blow my mind, though, if these don't go as far as the monster tires, because I would have assumed that... Oh, so it landed very close to where the monster tires landed. Will it land on its wheels, though? No way! Bro, it landed in a wheelie! Okay, that's... That's pretty legit. Like, that's insane! The fact that it was willing to land in a wheelie after that, okay, yeah, I'm I'm about that. Now it's time for some slightly wacky experiments. Starting with the Mega Rack, and, well, we can't put the Heavy Crane on it in the garage because, obviously, it's rank locked, but, thankfully, we have this, uh, we have the ability to use dev tools, and once we fire this thing up, let's go ahead and move it just a bit. And I'm going to lower the suspension down. And after we do that, let me see if I can throw something up there on top. And l let's see if I can even keep it, like, you know, above the uh, the bus for the entire way down. Now, Ares is probably a terrible choice for that because of the fact that it's, it's insanely heavy. Uh, same with any of the rest of Lime's trucks. I mean, they're great trucks, but... They are wildly, wildly heavy. Why don't we try it with something simple first? I mean, let's use... Where is the... Okay, so here's some... We can do it with Hummer H2. I feel like that would be... That would be plenty simple enough. Like, plenty simple. And it might even have, like, a top lift uh, crane socket. Let's see. Do you have a crane socket? Yes, you do. Let's go. Oh, this poor thing. It, it has absolutely no idea what it's in for, does it? It has no clue. Absolutely zero. Zip. Not a clue. <laughs> All right, let's turn you around. Let's bring you a tad bit higher, tad bit higher, tad bit higher. I also wonder how all this added weight is going to affect, like, the way this actually performs on the jump. 
All right, come on. If, if you could, like, move? What is your... Okay, I was like, what the heck is its problem? Like, it literally wasn't even really moving anywhere. All right, so that's there, and that's, like, that's absolutely perfect now. So let me also spawn in one more vehicle. No, come back, DevTools. Thank you. All right, so let's see. The Baja Crew, which is essentially a new Ford Raptor, probably won't fit up there. And I feel like the, the wheelbase might be just a touch too long. Now, in terms of base game vehicles, oh, the Don 71 would be perfect. Like, ironically, the Don 71, I feel, is like actually like the most perfect thing in the world for this because I needed something small. Like, I needed something small, and I needed something with the ability to... Why is it not registering? Why are you not registering? Bruh. Do I have to, like, drive it first? I might have to drive it first. That might be the, uh, that might be the issue. Right, let me back you in right here. Back you in. Why did I say back it in? Well, that's... We, we were driving it forwards, not back... Not backwards by any means. All right. For some reason, again, it wanted me to use the mouse rather than the controller. It was like, yeah, no, sorry, you're not using the controller for that. And I'm like, but why? And it's like, because. I'm like, okay, all right, that's, so that's the deal, huh? All right, we're going to turn you maybe backwards? May maybe? Oh, boy. Just a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. A little bit further. There we go. There we go. All right, come on. And drop it. No, I... Mm, that was the wrong time to do that. That was absolutely the wrong time to do that. Come on, lift you back up. Thank you. I don't know why I thought I was centered. I, I, I felt like it was centered. Maybe I don't know where, like, the center is on something like this. Again, I also don't know why it's turning the opposite direction of the way that I wanted it to turn. Why is this being, like, genuinely difficult? It's being way more difficult than it needs to be. Come on, let's give it just a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. And then as soon as I get it where I want it, I can just drop it right there on the top of the bus. And it'll be okay. I also would really like it if it would stop swinging back and forth. Okay, that's, you know what? That's good enough. Restore crane. And grab the Dawn 71 and back up. All right, done. Now, swap back into the Mega Bus. Pack trucks and trailers. Here we go. Now we're going to go for the distance jump. The distance jump is probably going to be the best uh, option for a setup like this. But, uh, oh no. Do not. Do not dump this thing over. Not after you worked so hard. No. No. no, I was like, bruh, if you fall over, I, who, I am gonna be moderately upset. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm actually a bit scared of this. Oh, dude. I. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is actually terrifying. And, like, here's the funny thing. Like, I can't really go, like, all that far away from it. Like, I have to... I have to adjust the photo settings, it, like, the field of view, to actually, like, get a look at everything that's going on here. Isn't that... Like, that should tell you everything that you need to know about what you're actually dealing with here. Like, genuinely, that should tell you absolutely everything that you need to know about this. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that's a, that, oh, boy. That's a thing. That's, that's a thing and a half. But, yeah, that's a, <laughs> this is terrifying. All right, let's go. Fourth gear, fifth gear, high range. Full steam. Back into automatic. That's full steam. Come on. Okay, so I'm sure they will have unpacked. The crane did not keep them in. Oh, the physics deactivated, and I'm not gonna fly as far. And the crane 
did nothing for me, actually. The crane got buried in the ground. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, that was still an absolutely hilarious experiment, and I certainly had a blast doing it. And still, I cannot believe that it took us this long after the Megabus's release to actually bring it to the original ski jump map. I had a blast out here, and I hope you guys had a blast watching as well. But if you have any thoughts and opinions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.